Alrighty, so let's take a look at this problem. Uh, we want to use the alternative form of the derivative to find uh, the derivative at x equals c. Uh, so the alternative form of the derivative is f prime of c uh, equals the limit as x approaches c of f of x minus f of c all over x minus c. So f of x in this case is x to the third plus 2x squared plus 9 and c is negative 2. So I will replace everywhere that I see c, I'll replace it with negative 2. So we're finding f prime of negative 2 equals the, that equals the limit as x approaches negative 2 of f of x. Now f of x is this function here. So f of x is x to the third plus 2x squared plus 9 and then f of c and we know that c is negative 2 so I'm going to look at my original function and replace the x's with negative 2 because we're writing f of c and c is negative 2. So I had x to the third, so now I have negative 2 to the third. Then I had plus 2x squared, so I'm going to have 2 times negative 2 squared, so plus 2 times negative 2 squared, and then plus 9. All over x minus c. Again, c is equal to negative 2, so x minus negative 2. All right, from here, we're just simplifying. So let's go through this. All right, so uh, we'll leave the x to the third plus 2x squared plus 9, just like it is. We want to simplify inside here, inside the brackets. So I have negative 2 to the third, which is negative 8. And then 2 times negative 2 squared. Well, negative 2 squared is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8, and then plus 9. And that should be plus, yeah, plus 9, okay. All right, and then down in my denominator, x minus negative 2 makes x plus 2. All right, now we have this negative out in front of the parentheses, so I need to distribute that negative to each one of the terms in the parentheses. Um, and before we do that, we know that negative 8 plus 8, we know that cancels each other out because that's 0. Okay. So again, I'll, we'll rewrite the x to the third plus 2x squared plus 9. I'm going to uh, this minus here will go to that positive 9 so uh, negative positive makes negative so minus 9 alright so now I can simplify a little bit more because we know 9 minus 9 is 0 they cancel each other out All right, so now we're finding the limit. Uh, so one way to find the limit is by using substitution. However, if we substitute right now, I would have a negative two in my denominator plus two, which would be zero. So I don't want that, but I can go ahead and factor my numerator. So let's factor out an x squared out of my numerator and see if that helps us to simplify. So if I factor out x squared, that leaves me with x plus two in the parentheses. All right, now the x plus twos cancel each other out in the numerator and denominator, and that leaves me with x squared. So 
So I have the limit uh, of x squared as x approaches negative 2. I'm going to use substitution to find that. So now I have, and this should be derivative here. Sorry about that. I left that prime off. So f prime of negative 2, that equals, I'm going to use substitution here. So the limit of x squared as x approaches negative 2, I can replace this x with the negative 2 that x is approaching. So negative 2 squared, that tells me that my derivative is positive 4. Alrighty, hope you found this video to be helpful. Thank you.